Well, I got a plain brown box from China. <laughs> this, uh, this could be, <laughs> this could go one of two ways. Um, hopefully. Ah, yes. It's uh, something electronic. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Ah, okay. Uh, this is a frequency generator uh, that I ordered ages ago. And it came over on the slow boat, obviously. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some close-ups on it, plug it in, see if it works, and go from there. Before I get uh, too excited and forget all the basics, let's look and see what it came with. Uh, obviously it came with a power cord, the right kind for US plugs. Uh, comes with a USB cable. I did not know that this could connect to a computer. Not really an important function for me. And the software to make that happen. And two sets of uh, cables for the outputs. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the outside of the box before we go on and see what uh, the externals look like. Well, we note down here that it's got a, a, a foldable foot, which is always nice. To kind of tip it up, make it look convenient. Um, let's zoom in a little bit on the... Here we have, uh, looks like parameter, wave, count, sweep, and then system functions. Uh, on, obviously on off, uh, digital selector, and left and right, don't know what that means yet. And then the input, and then we'll back out here a little bit. Uh, and then two outputs, so that's the front side. And yeah, nothing, nothing there, there, there. Let's see. We have TTL A, TTL B, uh, power in, so it goes from 85 volts to 220. So depending on where are you, where you are in the world, and then there's the USB connector. Okay, so those are the externals of the device. Now. I uh, can plug it in and do a little playing. Okay, let's power it up. I haven't read any instructions yet, so we'll see what's going on here. Um, okay, looks like it defaults to what, 10k hertz? Um, and there's a bar underneath there. I'm guessing that these, yes. So you can select which digit to set. Okay, not unusual. So there's two hertz, three hertz, four hertz, five hertz, five point one hertz. Um, okay, that's uh, that's not unexpected. Uh, next is parameters. Okay, offset sign, duty fifty percent, phase. Something amplitude offset again. Um, then we have the waveform, so I'm assuming it'll do sine, square, pulse, triggered, uh, STW, standard wave, don't know, uh, ST, and, uh, DC, preset one, preset two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten presets. I guess that's arbitrary. One, two, three, four, and then back to sign. And let's see, this is count. Oh, yes, right. This will do a, this, this also does frequency counting. So there's your input for that. Um, trigger manual, external, external. Okay. Yeah, my uh, frequency counter went bad. I left the batteries in it and it died. Um, so sweep. I don't recall what sweep does, to be honest. Uh, beginning, ending, okay, so it'll go over a, a frequency range, and that looks programmable. And then system, uh, okay, so you can save these different things. You can load, um, okay, set next power on, output equals on. Okay, set beep on, so the standard stuff. Okay, so there's the input for the frequency counter. Uh, I think we talked about that output output and I guess you can turn these on and off 
Yes, so you can select which output is uh, actually active. Okay, so there is a brief summary of it. Um, I will probably run it through its paces and do another video, but just uh, kind of to give you a feel for the uh, features and functions of this uh, particular very low cost, uh, this is less than $40 uh, type frequency generator and also frequency counter. Okay, well I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electronics projects.